In this video, you will learn how you can define rules for automatic attachment placement and sizing. You will also see how to apply them inside the software. This knowledge will greatly speed up your digital work with attachments. Before the system can automatically place and size attachments, they have to be set up in the control panel. You are able to find and create the rules when you click the Attachment Settings button. After you install the system, a default example of these attachments will already be present. It is very important to remember that you only place them if you agree with the rules outlined in that example. Any attachment can have the Enable Automatic Placement option activated. This will open a new section in the control panel for that attachment, allowing you to define under which circumstances the placement rule should be triggered, where exactly the attachment should be placed, and if it should be sized. The Movement Conditions for Automatic Placement section is where you enter which exact movement is needed to trigger the attachment placement. Please remember, if you add more than one type of movement requirement here, then in order to put an attachment on a specific tooth, all those requirements will have to be fulfilled in the same moment. You can set up a restriction that the attachment should not be placed even if the movement requirement is fulfilled, if the tooth crown is not big enough to accommodate the attachment. You define how big the crown has to be here. The center of attachment will be placed where the red dot is placed on the crown representation. The attachment can also be rotated and tilted, so you can use the same 3D STL file for a different attachment. Finally, you can have the software choose a pre-sized version of your attachment, so that it will cover a given percentage of the crown. For instance, if you wanted to cover up to 50% of the height and 40% of the width, you can set the values by using the arrow buttons to the right. The attachments you have now created can be bundled into various groups. This will allow our lab, for instance, to auto-apply different types of attachments when working together with different doctors. Now, let's place some attachments automatically. For this demonstration, we will use the demo example that the software has when you install it. Move some teeth and then go to the aligner where you want the attachments to appear for the first time. Click the Attachments button. Select the teeth you want to have attachments placed on, if relevant, and then select a group of attachments that you want to place from. Click the Apply button for automatic placement. It is possible to adjust the attachment after the placement. Please be aware that the software will only look at the remaining movement needed till the end of the treatment to evaluate if an attachment should be placed. So, if you try to auto-place on the ideal setup or a sub-setup late in the treatment, there likely won't be any movement left to trigger the automatic placement, which corresponds to the real-life scenario. In this video, you've learned about how to define attachment placement rules and how to use them inside the software. We hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.